What's up guys, my name is Dichronic Yours here on this Destiny video and today we're going to be talking about how to get faction tokens very very fast, the fastest that we can understand, around 90 to 100 tokens per hour, this is going to be the farm of how to do it, this seems like the fastest way you can do it uh, as uh, a lot of the other things are patched and a lot more difficult to do. So a lot of people have posted on this before, it's going to be that rig lost sector one where you just farm the lost sector token uh, off of the chest we're doing the last sectors over and over but there's a lot of little details that people left out little things to make it more efficient more quickly uh, and a lot of the things to make it uh, a lot more fun and uh, get a lot more heavy ammo out of it. So firstly, if you have not heard of this, all you have to do is travel to Titan, then go to the rig, follow this path to drop down into this little section here. This is what we call door. Then you're gonna have to run all the way down through this area until you reach the lost sector. In this area, you're gonna wanna kill the ogre. Once you do, there's a heavy ammo that drops off of him, so make sure you pick that up. Then go to the lost sector chest, open it, and then kill yourself on most likely one of the little supply caches around the area. They explode, they're pretty much gonna take out all of your health and and shields so go kill yourself on that and you should respawn all the way back at the top near the door you'll know if you respawn correctly if it says the rig on the top bottom left uh, and you should be able to get there if you by chance do not spawn all the way at the top instead you spawn at the top of the ramp which is closer you're gonna need to exit that area all the way back to the door section where it says again in the bottom left the rig and that should reset the area sometimes if you're standing in a location where the game thinks you're safe or you've spent enough time in the area it's gonna spawn you closer so that you can finish off the last sector without having to restart all the health of the enemies and all that stuff but what you want to do is do it as quickly as possible in the most unsafe way possible because that seems Seems to be the best way to avoid spawning on the ramp and instead spawning at the door. Obviously spawning at the door means you can do it a lot faster and not have to run back up through the ramp. As far as weapons, I recommend using the Mita Mini Tool uh, or the Mita Multi Tool. However, I would say the Mita Multi Tool might be a little difficult with this other part of the strategy. And you should use the Mita Multi Tool or the Mita Mini Tool. This is for the running, so you can run a lot faster between the places because it takes a while and it's a lot faster if you do use it. As far as heavies go, I recommend using either Sins of the Past or uh, any other cluster bomb thing like the curtain call try to get cluster rockets because it's very important since it's a big guy and you can actually cluster all the rockets between his legs which will give you a lot more damage or on the alternative you can also use high fire rate shotguns like hawthorns or a perfect paradox i recommend hawthorns personally however i didn't actually have it in this video because I, I didn't know where i put it but oftentimes shotguns are going to be more effective at killing bosses because they have they use ammo more efficiently uh, but this in the past is still a very efficient weapon at killing it and lastly, if you start to run out of ammo, I recommend doing the Wardcliff glitch. If you do not know, all you do is you equip, equip the Wardcliff exotic rocket launcher, pick up one heavy ammo, which is going to be from the boss kill, then switch to any other heavy, and you should have full ammo with that heavy, or about full ammo, which will make it so it is a lot easier, a lot faster, and a lot more efficient. And I should also mention that agility does not increase your movement or your top speed. Just don't use agility, it doesn't help. It's not something that can help you move faster, at least not at this point right now. They're talking about changing it soon. So in general, my strategy was to go in, drop a pulse grenade and one Sins of the Past rocket. That should pretty much kill the boss. Or if you don't have a pulse grenade, you can use two Sins of the Past rockets on him. Or if you have some other type of strategy, other type of grenade, you probably could use one Sins of the Past and something else to defeat him. If you're using a Hunter, perhaps you can use Celestial Nighthawk. Perhaps if you can use the Hallowfire Heart with the Titan Sunbreaker, it might be easier because you'll get a lot of grenades a lot faster when you max that out. I'm not too sure what the best strategy is, but it seems Seems like one grenade one rocket will do you wonders so try to figure out the best combo for it and if you do find out something better than the strategy I have uh, just said make sure you leave it down in the comments down below so other people can see it so in review the strategy is go to the lost sector door go all the way in kill the boss with around one rocket one grenade or two rockets or with your shotguns you can do shotguns and grenades get the lost sector chest kill yourself, respawn back at the door, and repeat this process over and over and over again using the Wardcliff to get your heavy ammo back and using the Mita Mini tool to run faster to the location. And if you end up spawning on the ramp, do not enter the lost sector. Make sure you exit all the way back up at the top near the door and then come back in and it should be just fine and you should be able to continue doing it. Anyways, that's pretty much the strategy. There's really not much more to it. I also wanted to ask you guys before we end here, a question for you. Uh, I've, I've been looking around. It doesn't seem like there's too many things that are faster than this. Let me know in the comments down below if you know of something that is faster, perhaps a faster lost sector. However, this one is pretty fast. You see the boss almost immediately, which is the, the biggest criteria for doing lost sector farming is that the boss has to be seen pretty close to some type of uh, respawn area, as well as the fact that you have to have a death to respawn area very close or a transport area 
area, like in the Winding Cove, was really fast because you had a teleport spot that you could teleport to, uh, which made it really quick. So let me know what you guys think. What is the best way to get faction tokens? Is there a better system in general, in totality? Is there a better system for lost sectors? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. I'll shout you out on the video if, I, if it is better, and I do do a video on it. But anyways, that's the video for you guys today. Hope you guys did enjoy. My name's Midnight Chronic, and I'll see you guys on the next one.